FigGem files are digital whiteboards filled with features for finding and sharing ideas. They offer a fantastic space for solving problems, arranging your thoughts, and aligning with others. You can use FigGem for free with a starter plan, the link is in the description. First up, to create a new FigGem file, go to Figma File Browser and look up for this button right here, Add FigGem Files, in your drafts or recent sections. FigGem files are divided into three main areas, the board, the file toolbar and the toolbar for tools and objects. This simple design helps you easily understand and find what you need in each section. The board is the main space in your FigGem files where you place everything you're working with, such as sticky notes, shapes and widgets. It's set against a white backdrop marked with a light dot pattern, similar to what you might find in a bullet journal. This endless canvas gives you the freedom to expand and explore your ideas without limits. You can move around and get a closer or wider view of your board by panning and zooming. Hold down space and then click and drag with your mouse to move around the canvas. If you're using the trackpad with two fingers, slide in any direction to pan the canvas. To zoom in and out, hold down command or control spacebar and scroll down or up in your mouse. In the trackpad, just pinch two fingers together to zoom out or stretch two fingers apart to zoom in. It's a natural behavior that probably you are already used to. The top toolbar is where you'll find your file settings and tools for collaborating. There are three groups, meeting tools, file settings and view options. On the left side, you'll find the timer with music, voting, templates and comments. If you're using the pro plan, you have this FigGem AI feature that can help you level up your brainstorming and capabilities in FigGem. Watch the video that I have covering this FigGem AI feature. In the middle, the project file, name and any file level settings. On the right side, the share button and your view options. The main toolbar down here in the middle contains all the tools and objects you need in FigGem. It's organized into four categories, navigation, tools, resources and more tools. This setup helps you easily access everything you need for your projects. Use the hand tool to move around the file and explore different parts of it or switch to the move tool when you want to adjust or modify an object. Here we have the objects that you can select from, like a marker, highlighter, washi tape or eraser and start drawing anywhere on the board. You also have sticky notes and shapes. To use it, simply click on it to pick the tool, then click on the board where you want to place it. You can also drag and drop shapes and sticky notes directly onto the board. Here in the middle you have this T icon, that means you can write text. You can create sections to group similar content and you may also want to add tables into the board. Pretty easy to use. And the stamp tool here it's also interesting to use to vote and react to some notes. You can also toggle between permanent stamps and temporary emojis if you are in a meeting. Right here you have tools and resources that you have used recently. And if you click here in the plus icon, you can discover more templates, widgets, stickers, plugins and more things from the community. And that's it, I hope you enjoyed this FigGem nugget. In the next one, let's work with sections. Thanks for watching.